I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And this is that time of the night again. No, the last last beer, yeah. one of the night. Last call. All right, this one's from Nathan, though. So he always brings good beers. Thanks, Nathan. Nightmare on Brett from Cricket State. 9.666% ABV. Wow. Yeah. So this is a dark sour ale aged on Leopold Brothers whiskey barrels. Um, smells amazing. A little different than what we've been doing tonight. Definitely looks different. Yeah. So let's get into it. All right. All right. It pours dark. really dark brown, kind of purplish like around the edges, maybe. Brown ale almost. Or something. Yeah, super dark. Looks good, though. Right. Tan head there. Let's get the nose. Wow. Kind of get like a roasty malt. I got funk up front. Yeah. And then I get a little bit of malt. Definitely get that funk. And then this kind of roastiness barrel character. Definitely get more roast. I mean, definitely kind of this cacao roasted malt. Mmm. Mm. Funk, definitely. Yeah, the more I swirl it, the more funk I'm getting. I mean, I, I still get some roasted malt, but I mean, I get a lot of funk from it. It's you know, just that wet blanket. Not much sour to the yeah. nose. Really Maybe a hint of the, like vanilla bourbon character. I don't know mm. that I get much nose. It smells wonderful. A lot different than what we've been drinking. Yeah. Tonight. All right. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Oh, oh yeah. That's different. Hmm. That's First kinda, thing I was hit with, green. like red wine, fruit, like kind of a dark okay. red wine, fruit character, tart, roasted malt. I mean, this is very kind of complex as it going through there. Barrel character, tannins. Hmm. What is it what we've been drinking before? But I agree, it, it kind of almost has that red wine barrel character, mm -hmm. even though it's supposed to be whiskey. barrel. I'm not getting, I'm the whiskey, first. Yeah, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. I'm not getting any um, that right. I'm getting kind of a barrel, kind of just a, like an almost an oak barrel. Huh. Um, yeah, the, the more mm -hmm. I taste it, I'm getting some of that. Now I am, yeah. Whiskey barrel flavor. That one was almost a chocolate, got some chocolate cacao on that one, kind of on, on top of that tartness and a little bit of funk. Man, this one's really complex. Yeah, it is. I feel like I'm going to drink all this trying to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> but at nine, be careful. At nine but at point nine six, point six, 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 you got to be careful. <sighs> yeah, more. I mean, I guess the thing that stands out compared to some of the stuff I've been drinking is just the dark part, the, the, the roasted. Um, the roasted malt. So you get of, roasted malt? On yeah, the yeah, I get this kind of roastiness, this chocolate, mm -hmm. like kind of a bittersweet chocolate, um, cacao type flavor. I definitely get that. Okay. I'm going to palate cleanse first because I, I feel like when you said rye, red wine barrel, to me that's almost what I'm getting, not. Well, I got that on the malt. first sip. But yeah, as I'm sitting here, it's almost like, yeah, this porter esque quality to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I still get some roasted malt on the nose, but and the flavor is just so well blended. It's hard for me to pick that mm -hmm. out. It's fairly subtle. Yeah, um, which is good. I mean, I've had some dark sour ales that it was just all roasted malt, and you you, no. you barely got any funk. There wasn't any. This is complex. Lot this to it. Good. Well, like you said, well blended. It's one of the best dark sour ales <laughs> I've had. <laughs> Can't recall. Mm. Mm. As far as the rating, I'm gonna go four two five. Okay, um, I'm between a four three three and a four five. I, I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I'm gonna sit on it for a minute. But okay. Well, just if you guys want to wait for a minute. Yeah, just we'll sit here. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Demonic sour a or demonic dark sour nightmare on Brett. Whew. Takes on the uh, real I mean, between the tartness and that oak character just keeps lingering there under tongue, man. Mm. Yeah. It's a solid beer. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go four three three. Um I like it. Like I said, one of the, the better dark sour ales I've had. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for sharing it, Nathan. That's yeah, really good. Thanks. Anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.